Hello there and welcome to the new Python tutorial and in this Python tutorial I will show you how you can download and install matplotlib library. So matplotlib which has this official website matplotlib.org is basically a visualization library within the Python and this allows you to create not just the basic visualizations but you can customize and even extend it with the third party package here on this website which i have put it in the description as well you have the documentation example tutorials and contributing but in this video my idea is or my uh, effort is to give you a quick start if you don't already have this library so first of all i will show you that how you can install the library and this is where i will not stop but I will give you a complete information so that by the end of this video you have entire information that is needed to start working with this library also most of the examples and documentation over here that you will find is based on the custom or dummy data set like they have created some random variables which is very different from how we usually get the data from the uh, in our business environment so here in this video i will show you how you can get a near real time data which is the sales data set the sales inventory of a company uh, what the sales are and we will look at just a couple of graphics at the end about how you can create that so at the end of this video you will have all these things like how to upgrade the library importing a package how to get a help on the package function and method uninstalling the library basic usage and finally the next steps all right so with that let's start with installing the library so to install a library what you need to enter is this command pip and then you need to say install and the name of the library pip install matplotlib so what it will going to do that first of all you need to make sure that you are connected to internet if you are not connected to internet it will not be able to download the library as you are seeing so what it is doing is going to that server uh, based on the pip command is having already pre-configured and then install the sub the install the library about it okay so make sure you are connected to internet and the library is now installed if the library is already installed and you are trying to run this command then you will get the message like the library is already installed right so you can you can just make sure that uh, either it, if it is already installed then no need to no need to install it again but it will just give you that message all right so once you have installed the library how you can see the package details so for example it has installed a library to a particular location right here but what the package is who is the author what is the default what is the package site so everything about uh, the package is stored in a package text file now going to that location and viewing that file is cumbersome idea so what i have is a command for you that can basically show you entire information or the entire summary of the package so what you will see is pip show and the package name so you have matplotlib and once you will enter it you will see that with this show command so remember earlier what we had is the install command with the pip and now what we are having is the show command with the pip so here what it shows is what is the name of the library which version we are using so it is the latest version based on because we have just run the installation how you can uh, what is the summary that it is a python plotting package what is the home page so if you don't trust google let's say over here then you have the option of going to the home page who is the author so here is the author information john d hunter and michael trot bomb boom <laughs> sorry if i'm pronouncing it incorrectly um author email so matplotlib user at python or python.org so suppose one fine day if you become an advanced user and you want to reach out for more customization more information you have the email what is the license what is the location it dependency what it requires it requires numpy pi parsing cycler uh, python date util pillow and kiwi solver 
to be already installed so that it can run successfully. And this matplotlib is required by, that means libraries like Seaborn run on top of the uh, matplotlib, scikit-image, fake, pandas profiling, missingo, lux api, dabl, all of this basically requires matplotlib already installed. So this already is giving you a lot of information about, about this package as what it requires and the different packages that required the matplotlib. All right, how to upgrade the library. So this is another uh, step which you may need to do. Let's say for example, after six months, there is a new version out there and you want to upgrade a library. In that case, you may have to search for a command. So what I have done is just put everything over here and even the link of this uh, notebook, I will put it in the description, which you can get it uh, based either free or if you feel like you want to pay for it, you can pay whatever you want. And, uh, but you have both the options at the end of the day. Okay, so how to upgrade the library is another pip command, which you need to run. So it is pip, so here, we will going to write pip install hyphen u parameter is what we need to give. So earlier it was just the installation part, but when you need to upgrade, you need to mention hyphen u and then the package name. So once you will execute it, requirement already up to date, right? Because we have just downloaded and installed. So this is something you can keep it, this document or this, this notebook handy with you based on the link which I have given below. So with that already we have seen how you can install, how you can view the package detail, how you can upgrade the library. Now let's see how we can import. So every library has a certain way of importing. Most of them follow a very simple command which is import. Import matplotlib. We can simply stop here and continue with the work, but sometimes these library has dependencies. For example, matplotlib has a dependency with pyplot to be imported. And generally the standard way of uh, keeping it as an alias, we use import matplotlib.pyplot as plt. Now, why do we do that as plt? It is because whenever we have to refer, let's say a line chart or a bar chart or simply simply a plot, we have to write this entire name again and again. If we want to avoid it, we can give it an alias as plt. So instead of writing this entire name in the subsequent commands, we will say plt.bar, plt.plot, plt.access, whatever the different commands that we have, right? And you have to basically, basically use this magic command which is percentage mat plot lib in line that means whenever you will run the command it will show the plot in line to the command or below to the command if you don't have this there is a greater chance that you may have to run plt dot show command or the show method right so with this always make sure that you have this as a standard so once you will execute it uh, percentage mat plot p mat plot live in line so yeah with that you will not have to worry that if you forget the show method no need to worry you will be able to run the command all right now let's move on to the next one which is how to take a help on a package function and method so first of all let's start with the highest node first we want to take a help on the package so we will run mat plot live so here is the help on the package. What so it shows you a lot of information as it as you can see. What is a matplotlib and object oriented plotting library? The description and how you usually import, right? So import matplotlib.pyplot. This is why I also mentioned you, or I also referred this as a standard uh, installation or standard way of importing the library. And then like you see percentage matplotlib in line, right? So with that, you have a lot of different modules, like for example, matplotlib.access, figure and everything. And it has names. So it gives you a lot of information, what content uh, package contains that, that it has, the classes, the sub modules, all of this information, you know, you can, you have it at your, 
at, at your fingertips whenever you need it functions right so what are the different functions that that you are having get config dir get data get home is url i mean everything is at your fingertips all right so that's about uh, how you can get a help but what if if you want to get a help on a particular function so for example uh, matplotlib has a very um, very uh, you know useful function which is plot because you have to plot the library but before i show that just one more thing i want to show you here i had mentioned directly matplotlib but you can even mention the alias plt so once you do that you will see the pack the help not just from the entire package but from this uh, sub part of this package matplotlib.pyplot because this is where most of your plot plotting related information is present is a state based interface to the uh, matplotlib it provides a matlab like plotting right so like i was saying plt.plot so if you want to get a help on the plot like for, for example pl plot is a function similarly a core is a function so it's a plot the autocorrelation of x so how do you get the help is very simple you will say plt.acorr and then you will get a help on the a core function with this parameters what are the parameters what are the norm use v line you know different parameters that it returns what it returns what are the other parameters that you can specify and finally the node so i am keeping you or i'm leaving you here with this information that you can simply run this command the higher level command look at the functions like a core which we just looked at and uh, you have this angle spectrum as one function right and you have you you have let's say a couple of other function which i'm just trying to like annotate very important because you have to annotate text at a certain point on the plot so how do you annotate so annotate the point at x y within the text it is the simplest form the text is placed at x y location where is the x and y coordinates are so all of this is at your fingertips but requires a lot of time and uh, in a lot of time investment to look at it all right so once you have all of this information let's say one fine day you have a requirement that your library is either having a conflict with the other library or it is corrupted or something happened and you want to uninstall so how would you uninstall a library so with that what you can do is you can again use the pip command because pip is everything for installation upgradation uninstallation all right so pip and we will say uninstall hyphen y and then name of the library so we will say pip uninstall matplotlib and you will say see that it is uninstalled properly always make sure that hyphen y is present because you are giving your consent that yes you want to uninstall this library and that's why uh, you know you you specify this parameter if you will not specify this parameter then it will ask you at the end y or n y indicate yes and indicate no but unfortunately you won't be able to perform that action because uh, it it requires the console or the command prompt to enter enter y or no and we are in the jupyter notebook so because we are in the jupyter notebook always make sure that you have the hyphen y as the parameter uh, when you are installing the matplotlib okay so viewing default data set of the library now this is something which is not present within the matplotlib as far as my information goes there are no default or inbuilt data set so i am skipping this part if i am wrong over here and if you know that this is uh, this is something which is present let me know in the comment but i have uh, when i have worked on this library i have always used some other data set let's say from pandas from cborn and all but not from here okay so after that what is the basic usage of the library on near real time business data so what i have is basically a sales data set 
and for that i need to import the pandas library because pandas is something uh pandas is something which is used to import pandas uh, related functions for example reading the excel file csv file and all so if you are not aware i have already posted one videos on pandas as how to download and install pandas if you don't already have it but generally it comes as a default uh, as a default uh, option or a default installation as a library so i will say pt.read underscore excel function and i know the file name is sales.xls all right so i'll just create a couple of uh, cells over here and the way i create it is uh, if i want to create cell above to the cell i will press a i just pressed a so you have the cell above it i want to delete it i will press d two times d d it is deleted and if i want to create a cell below to this i will press b okay so just remember the shortcut i find it very useful i i just keep telling the shortcut as and when i find it uh, important for you all right so if you want to look at first few rows you will use the sales.head function which shows okay what is the row id what is the order id order date order priority and everything and you will see that it is a very near real time i'm i'm not saying 100% real time but it is it is a near real time data and not just simple those those examples like where they say 1 2 3 4 5 a b c d e all of those things okay so sales dot had is something what you are having over here and suppose if you want to uh, run some analysis for example you have order priority as a column so on which priority order has been given we want to know it as a summary so i will show you one quick function about how to get that so i will create a one new object priority which is related to order priority and i will use the sales this is the sales object that we created and over here we will say order priority and we use the one of the function value underscore counts so it creates the count of each of these category how can we see this we can see uh, by running this column so you will see that with the help of value counts we have the high low not specified medium and critical so these are the unique values and their respective counts so if you find it useful just keep it as a part of uh, your back pocket or uh, remember this function all right what if if you want to plot this so we have already imported the library a plat matplotlib as plt so what i'll use is a very simple function which is plt um pl what do you call uh um that uh, plot yeah plt dot plot and i will simply write priority this is the this is the most basic thing that you can do with this so if i enter what do you get you get high low not specified medium and critical as one of the uh, as the parameter as the values right so high is the highest one 1766 after that you have low so that is what has been produced not specified has been what's been produced medium and critical and you have a lot of different parameters how you can see the parameters is by coming inside this and pressing the shift tab tab twice and you will see that you have lot of different functions so what we have already specified is just the data right but you have lot of different functions or the parameters for example bo blue circle r plus uh but red pluses so if i say comma and within single quotes i say bo what you get is the blue dots right and if i say b plus you will get plus sign similarly if i want red pluses i get r plus right so this is a very simplest uh, method that you can apply on this and uh, this is this is why i wanted to show you some of the basic usage so by the end of this video you you get out with something very important uh, in your hand to start plotting the library or uh, values what if if you want to plot the bar chart so we have this plot dot bar 
For this, we need to specify the x-axis and y-axis, not like this one. We have to clearly tell the bar function what is the x-axis, what is the y-axis. So the way we tell it in this case, so priority is basically your series over here based on what value count returns. And you can check this by using the function type priority and what it has is basically your series. So for series, you have index and you have values. So I will say priority dot index as X, priority dot values as Y. And if I just plot it, what you will see is the bar plot. So this, this is the minimum what you need to give uh, as part of the uh, PLT dot bar. Now, the last thing which I will show you very, very important and very, very useful if you want to have a sort of presentation or sort of a static dashboard sort of a view. So what you have is basically a um, subplot. So subplot is something which is helpful when you want to plot this and this together and you need to specify um, what uh, what are all the plots and what are all the parameters that you need. So I will say plt dot subplot. Uh, I have one I have one row, these two plot in one column. So one to one is what I will give in this case. If I have uh, uh, two columns or three three different rows, I will show you. Basically, it will it probably make you confused. So I will just uh, pl. I'll just copy this in this case and put it over here plt dot subplot one two two and plt dot plot sorry I will just copy this over here and paste it and if I just execute what you see is basically a plot like this right so the way the the thing I wanted to show you is that how you can plot multiple plots together. So this is basically a way. But if you see, they are not coming properly over here. So what do you have is basically one of the uh, one of the uh, option as figure size where you can specify the figure size uh, to get the output. So the way you need to specify is plt dot figure and then you specify fig size which is figure size and over here you need to when you are starting you need to experiment a little bit what i specify is 712 and if i execute you will get value like this so maybe i just what i'll do i'll make this like this one so 12 is going way overboard or way above this so i will just say 7 and I will, yeah, 7 is fine, maybe 10 over here. So width, so this is your width, this is your height. If you want less height, maybe let's say 4, you get like this. Yeah, so this is coming perfect. So 10 comma 4 is giving, displaying the values perfectly. So one other way which I wanted to show you is this one. And finally, the way you should specify over here is, one is one row, right? Two indicate two charts, right? And one indicate is first chart. One row, right? Second, uh, two charts. We know that it is a two charts and we want to display one chart. Similarly, over here, if you see for second chart, we have one row, two charts and two basically or the second chart over here. What if, if you want to display one, two, three, four, in that case, you have to specify two more times. So this is first row, second chart, two charts and one column. So in this case, this will become second row, second two charts and one. So two, two, one and two, two, two. So you can experiment with this and get out with the uh, some of the interesting way how you can design it. But these are some of the basics I wanted to cover. Uh, just so that you get complete information out of this video. All right, next steps. So next steps is something you need to tell me in case if you find that some of the things, additional things that I should cover in such videos, then let me know in the comments and I will include that. 
and apart from this you if you have an interest in any of the library that, that i need to show like this with the basic usage and all then let me know in the comments and based on uh, based on the recommendations uh, number of recommendations or number of likes that you have on a given recommendation i will put it on the uh, on my next video or in the pipeline of my videos so that's about it and now i will meet you in the next video with a new topic thank you